It was just amazing. <laughs> all the planning, all the preparation, and to be embarking and going on a world adventure, it was just fantastic. And so today's theme is anticipation. And anticipation doesn't only have to be grand things. Hi, Jules here. Welcome to Create Work-Life Balance. Create Work-Life Balance sessions are designed to inspire you to enjoy your life. And today I'm going to start by taking you to Sydney Airport. And this is because I started a journey there many years ago to travel around the world for a year. And it was so exciting. It was so great that this day had finally arrived. It was a lifelong goal of mine. I'd gone to university and I'd worked for two years to save. And now here I was. And so today's theme is anticipation. And anticipation doesn't only have to be grand things like world travel. In my life, anticipation shows up at when I'm in a gelato line. I just love looking at all the colours and watching the people in the shop that just love it and are excited and happy. I contemplate the flavours and wonder which ones will go together and whether they have my favourites in there. And it's just always been something I've enjoyed. It was about that whole ice cream experience, the seeing it, the choosing, and then the beautiful, beautiful flavours. Now my children also love ice cream, and we can be lining up at Circular Quay, where there's a very famous gelato place, and the long line just makes for the whole excitement to build and we compare which flavours we're going to have, we look at what other people are choosing. Anticipation can just help us so much. There were psychology universities in China that got together. Which they wanted to check what was the impact of anticipating a positive event. Now, not surprisingly, that research did show that anticipating positive events does have a positive impact on our brains. This is absolutely no surprise to me. At Sydney Airport, when I was so excited to be travelling, I knew that it wasn't only that day, it was the leader. I'd had years of planning and I, it did so many things. It meant that I had the willpower and desire to save it meant that I had had the excitement of packing, collecting the things together, wondering if they'd all fit in my backpack, getting the right shoes, you know, so many things that you need to organise along the way. And all those elements and the excitement and the anticipation all help to give you a good frame of mind and a good sense of well-being. So what is it you're looking forward to? What is it that you're anticipating? Is it in work or in life or both? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear your stories. I'll see you in the next session. 